modern-day Turkey, a literal treasure trove of surviving relics of a lost antiquity. Temples from a bygone era, seemingly prehistoric stone-cut monolithic academically supposed tombs, countless ancient ruins, not only built from incredibly large megalithic stones, but many said stones etched with a signature, which we have found at a number of sites now dotting the entire globe. This all aligns with our own researchers conclusions, suggesting they were in fact left by a now lost civilization due to their concentrations focused around nearby anomalies and unexplainable features often found amongst the structures that these unique blocks are found so often incorporated into sites impossible to explain, yet spanning most of the Earth. Yet regardless, Turkey is an excellent place for anyone to heavily research, in pursuit of fragments of evidence, overwhelmingly, undeniably, supporting our long-held postulation of lost yet once highly capable civilizations who once called these sites home. Although some stonework in the area can be acclaimed as cyclopic, Hattusa also possesses something more extraordinary. A mysterious green cube, still in situ to this day. Its continued existence and seeming resistance to grave robbing and stone robbers, perhaps due to the many stories attached to the stone, all of which claim it possesses powerful energies, one of the reasons why it has fortunately remained where it was placed untold millennia ago. Furthermore, and perhaps most intriguingly, is the possibility for our claim here on the channel that just like that of many other ruins all over Earth, not claimed by our most recent ancestors themselves, but due to this convenience, subsequently attributed to said group by modern archaeology as their work also, successfully concealing the site's true remarkable origins, especially our mysterious green stone. Rich agricultural lands once surrounded the ancient settlement, which we claim was itself built atop the remains of a now lost civilization, and their possible choice of location may have been driven by the stone itself, thus having predated said group's arrival, which according to modern archaeology and permitted timelines, dates from an inhabitation during the Bronze Age. Yet the purpose for the green stone, its past possible significance, and the seemingly still surviving wariness and reluctance of any immoral activities surrounding the stones continued life at the center, or proverbial center, or indeed foundation of this incredible site, left alone, still resting in its location, its mysterious supposed powers, documented since and many before its long recorded history within modern academic journals. Could the claims regarding the green stone be true? Even attributed with miraculous healing capabilities? The inhabitants had an excellent supply of timber for building, fertile lands providing possibly millions of now lost ancestors who grew crops of wheat in massive quantities. They had a rich diet too, with barley, lentils, and many other remnants of fruit and vegetables that were successfully being harvested. Flax has also been found to have once been harvested, however, their primary source of cloth was sheep wool. They also hunted deer responsibly within their forests, but akin to Old England, may have been a luxury reserved for the land-owning nobility alone. It seems that the people who initially created the site successfully built a functioning architecturally, irrigationally, and horticulturally advanced settlement far out of the reach of our bronze-wielding ancestors, who, we feel, simply reignited into a functioning township. Yet it seems the other settlements have all but turned to dust. Were they simply neglected by our Bronze Age ancestors, perhaps? If so, supportive of our posit of the site's efficient layout, was not the work of the Bronze Age people exhibiting a layout and managing of land far beyond their capabilities? And these neighboring sites, possibly too dilapidated to try to repair, were simply left to slowly return to nature. Yet, the green stone, we feel, due to its location, along with the many past popular native accounts of strange goings-on surrounding its claimed energy, the possibility that the stone was once held in incredibly high regard, 
is a possible history for the green stone which we find highly compelling.